Next question is from J. Lee Ann. Are fitness tests such as the standard 2.4 kilometer run, one minute AMRAP push ups and sit ups a good measure of people's physical fitness, or are there better tests? You know, I, I I hate when people say things like, you know, I this is these tests tell us that this person is the best, yeah. most fit. Ge- fitness. Now, I'm where not did, talking about health. Where, where is this from? Where is that? Where, what test is that? Yeah, I don't know. I was trying to find that out because it just reminded me of our. I mean, we were kind of talking about the presidential physical fitness standards. You, you know, those? yeah, we did those, and and I remember I enjoyed it a lot because, like, I mean. I crushed it pretty much, you know, compared to all my peers. But, um, you know, it was, we had like a sit and reach. Okay. We had like the one mile run. Mm -hmm. We had the the pull ups, uh, push push ups. ups, And what else? Am I forgetting something? I think that's it. Yeah. You know, it's one dips, maybe. You know, what's what messed me up all the time was the the sit and reach. I used to hate that. Oh, yeah. I'd crush everything. And then every boy like sucked at that. What hurt me? Yeah. Yeah. So, so here's the thing. Forget. Okay. So healthy is different. Okay. Fitness uh, is as measured by maybe performance. Very specific. Is somebody who can do a really fast 2.4 kilometer run, uh, you know, one minute AMRAP, push ups and sit ups, do they have great fitness for Olympic weightlifting? No. Do they have great fitness for boxing? Probably not. Um, so it's very specific. Yeah, they're good at running. They're good at push ups. They're good at sit ups if they do that, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's very, it's kind of a very, sp- fitness is a very specific thing. I would say, what you might want to do instead is break up your performance into a few different categories, maybe strength, uh, endurance, uh, you know, mobility and flexibility. Um, maybe those three, I'd say, would be the general ones, and then have a component in each one of those. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, I do. I here's something that I will maybe a j- explosive jumping. This, this does smell very CrossFit to me. Yeah, but I, I will to and that stinks to yeah. give it to give yeah. it to give it to give it credit. Um, it, it, it does have some validity because there. I always tend to go back, like uh, I've said on the show at least a handful of times where you might hear me say, like, you know, we talk about, like, oh, cardio this, cardio that. But I always get on the treadmill, you know, at least once a month and just see what I got for a mile. And it, it is a, a gauge for me to know if I, if that's getting significantly worse. Am I maintaining? Am I getting a little better? And I, and I want to be able to run a mile if I ever do it. So it's something that, like, I've always – inserted into my training no matter what I'm focused on and you know it may not, it may not uh, add a lot of value to my you know map strong workout or whatever but I want to know I want to know can I still run a mile under a certain time right mm-hmm. so there's value to that I also do this thing where I do full lever sit-ups and I go to 100 and I try and get them out as many as I can and it, it gives me feedback on kind of where my fitness level is and the same yeah. thing I'll every once in a while I mess around and I drop down and just get rep out as many push-ups as I can without stopping to see how many I'm at and so you know it, it's a good gauge for myself to kind of see where I'm at, but it's, it is very specific. I could be deadlifting 500 and something pounds, but then not be able to run yeah. a mile because I haven't been doing it. You know, well, that's why, yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to think. I, I liked the, the, the standards of like being able to lift your own body weight or more, uh, you know, within specific, uh, you know, foundational lifts. Like I always want to like, you know, look back and see is making sure that I'm at least lifting more than my body weight, you know, or, or double it. Right? No, that's a good one. I think even like not, I mean, double is a good goal for us, us personally, because we love fitness, well, but yeah, I, as long I, as you've been in I, it. No, if you can bench squat and dead your body weight, you're relatively strong. Especially bench. Yeah. That's a hard one for it a lot is, of people to do. But that's yeah. a, I mean, if you can bench squat, deadlift your weight, how much you weigh, at least you're pretty dang strong. You know, yeah, that's yeah. not bad at all. Yeah. yeah. The way, the way I liked it, what I, the way I would communicate it to clients was, can you, uh, do you have good enough health and fitness to where you're not struggling when you play with your kids or when you run at the park or when you're moving boxes or moving the couch because you got a vacuum underneath it? Are you do, do you are do you have pain or do you have no pain? Mm-hmm. Do you wake up in the morning and feel like you could just get up? Um, do you have good energy, good health? I think generally speaking, those are probably those are the things you might want to kind of look like. Yeah, look if I had at. to structure it, it would definitely be like a joint, uh, you, you know, test, you know, for mobility, and then you would have like how much, like if you can lift your body weight uh, with with those standard lifts, and then some kind of an endurance component, right? So it could be the the mile run, or it could be some other form of cardio test uh, that you choose. Yeah, the endurance one I do is can I do more than ten curls? <laughs> Can I, I walk from the couch yeah. to outside I, I without did, breathing? I, I did heavy. eleven curls. Yeah. My endurance is pretty good right now. <laughs> yeah.